Hello everyone, this is Taryn with Wonderfully Made Handcrafting. And since I'm over halfway through this month in the gratitude project I'm working through, I decided I would do a flip through of this. Now I'm using the overflowing kit from By the Wall for God. I'm doing the devotional separately from this um you know, project, but this kit is also the gratitude tag bob kit from By the Well. Um, I'm just using all the ephemera pieces and papers and whatnot from the overflowing kit. So I'm kind of mashing those two things together. Now the tags I've done a little bit differently as I've created an accordion book. Now this is something that I did last year for my parents and my grandfather for Christmas and I included a bunch of um, you know old Christmas photos and whatnot in that and I really loved that project so I wanted to do something similar. So I've used all the tags that would be on the tag ring instead and I am doing a tag a day talking about 30 different attributes of God and I created this little book using craft text. Now if you haven't seen craft text before I did a video on it and it's this amazing product. Um, it's paper but behaves much like a fabric. You can wash it and dry it. You can dye it. Um, I absolutely loved it. Now some of my craft text was originally white. Some was more of a brown craft color and I just dyed it with um, um, different distress sprays and that's kind of how I put my book together. I just sewed long pieces together and folded it back and forth and that's how I created this. Um, so anyways I've only done a little bit over half of the tags for this month because after I'm done with the, um, these ones I did all the front side um, but then it'll turn to the back side and I'll have a tag a day on this side and so all these will um, add up to 30 different tags um, and then after I'm done the, they can be um, displayed on a table like this standing up or you can have like a coffee table little project to look through. I've decided to include a bunch of old photos of my family um, because that's what makes it special to me and adds a little special touch. So to start it off I did do um, a YouTube video on this front tag but quickly I just did a bunch of layers used a book spine one of the Tim Holtz name brads colored it in with some distressed crayon now throughout all my tags I've used this Dymo label maker um, it is this right here it's about ten dollars online amazing little thing except you don't want to heat set it so you don't want to use a heat tool next to it or else it'll ruin the embossed look I did use some texture paste and some mica spray stain in the background also used a little bit of stitching and one of these big um, ephemera pumpkins from the by the wall for god kit so that's kind of my front page next page um, was using that big background um, stamp that has dictionary definitions definitions. Um, I embossed it with some white embossing powder, but I didn't like how um, like normal it looked. I wanted to distress it and um, you know, I didn't like the full um, tag being covered. So I used a paintbrush and kind of just roughed it up a little bit and um, distressed some and then heat set it before, you know, after adding the powder, but before heat setting it, that's when I used the paintbrush to move around and kind of take off some of the stamping. I also used frosted crystal on this truck. If you can see, it has a little fun texture to it. And then added a bunch of mummy cloth, some ribbon, some glossy accents on this little number and tucked in my verses and that day day one we we're talking about how God is creator day two I wanted to add some of my photos now I use these photos um, or put them together on the Silhouette Studio and then um, I made sure that they were the same size as the tag and then sent them over to UPS. I also have a bunch of pieces in this project from my House of Books subscription because I love adding those little vintage pieces and I can add a bunch of them because it can be as chunky as I want. So I have this little milk cap on here. Now you don't know really but my kids are standing in front of this old kind of vintage looking truck 
truck with pumpkins and everything in front of it. Um, so I just thought that was the perfect little picture to add. I also made all my pictures look the same color and look kind of antiqued um, because originally I was actually looking for other people's antique um, fall photos, but I only found Halloween kind of photos on Etsy. And so I decided I would just use my own and make them antique. Day three, I used this little ephemera piece that had a little cup of tea in there. So I decided it would be perfect to add this little tea bag. By the Well for God had sold these a couple of months ago. And so I just dyed it and added it to my background to add more texture to this. Um, I also, on this page, used one of the old books and one of the labels to add all my um, verses to because that was important for me to add verses to all these tags. Now, this looked a little plain to me, and so I added some glossy accents to this stamped for. This is also a photo that my mom took when she was a teenager at her house in the fall, um, and I have some of the Tim Holtz um, fabric tape from the holiday line he has. So that's kind of what I have going on on these two days. Days of five and six, I absolutely love. Um, this one is a picture of my father when I was probably about one years old. Um, we went pumpkin picking and I just love this picture. Um, he kind of reminded me of a lumberjack with his plaid shirt. And so I decided to use this new embossing folder from Tim Holtz, the, um, tree rings. And I loved adding just some, uh, ink to that embossing folder and that really darkened up everything in the inner sections of everything and so I love the look of that and then I wanted to add a lot of texture so I have this book spine again I stitched some fabric and added some extra little you know strings and whatnot but I was having trouble trying to figure out where to put my verses because when I added it to this cluster it was just way too much and so instead I decided to add this to this little pin at the top and it is perfect up here because I can move it um I did add a little eyelet so that that was um you know a little bit more sturdy up there Day six is this really fun rust t um, technique that Tiffany, um, she has an Instagram and a YouTube. I'll try to link down below. But she um, showed this rust technique on Instagram and I had to try it. I absolutely love it. She used rusty hinge and ground espresso spray stain. Um, I didn't have rusty hinge in the spray stain. I only had it in the oxide spray. And so I did use that. I think the spray stain might have looked a little bit more realistic like rust, but I think it really has this fun texture. You actually use the snowfall grit paste with this um, and I just love it. So I added this a femur piece on top and I had already beforehand had um, used my typewriter to write out all the verses for holy. Day seven and eight. Seven was super simple. Um, so I have this old vintage book paper that had the same kind of greens in it um, from my House of Books subscription. I decided to use a stapler and just make a little crosshatch on there um, and use this watering can with some fabric um, and ribbon. Now this vellum I just fed through my typewriter and typed out the verses that corresponded with it and that was basically it. Probably my quickest little tag ever. This day is um, featuring my youngest. We had went apple picking a number of months ago up in New Hampshire with my family. And so I decided to use this little ephemera of a bunch of apples and I used glossy accents on it to make it nice and shiny. I um, used some vellum that I just stapled on top and that was basically it. These days are really fun as well. I mean, there's so many tags I love. But um, what's nice about working through tags is that there are so little. Um, sometimes it's hard to work through them, but also it's a ch um, it's a good challenge, you know, to work through them and stuff as much as you can and let things hang off. And I don't know. I just think they're fun. But I use this plaid paper from the paper pack. I also have, I believe this is Greek, um, 
like a Greek book that I used in the background. This is a picture of my brother before I was born and he is sitting with a bunch of pumpkins. I use the vellum piece with the paper clip again. This pumpkin is from the ephemera pack and then I have more fabric from my House of Books subscription that I carried on to this side. So this side of this little nest is actually strings from this fabric. And for this one, I really wanted to um, focus on using this um, stamp set that was from last month's kit. It's just a bunch of beautiful line drawn leaves from By the Wall for God. Um, I decided to use mica spray stains, the new ones for the holidays. Um, and I just, you know, kind of sprayed them on a non stick mat, stamped my stamp in it, and then just stamped and However it stands is how we I went with it. Um, I also wanted to, you know, have that be the main focus of this tag. That's why I don't have too much going on on it, but I just think it is beautiful. It has this fun little lustery metallic look. I had this leather little ribbon, um, and so I decided to make another tag. But this one I used with... Um, the little scrap from here so it has some of that um, leaf stamping on it and some vellum that I just stapled to it to include the verses for day 10. Day 11, this was a big word inscrutable to fit on this tag this way with my Dymo label maker. So I decided to turn the tag this way and focus on that. I have a bunch of ribbons. I use this label to kind of tuck in. Now, this little pumpkin was included in the tag bob kit. And so I decided to just put it on some manila paper and just put that on and make it look a little bit more vintage. But I love how they included little um, ephemera pieces or um, little clear stickers as well in the tag bob kit so that everything that was included in that would fit on these tags but I also love using the regular size ephemera so this one I loved this um, little chair with the pillows and pumpkins and so I decided that was going to be the main focal point of this tag but this one I used some washi tape that someone gave me at my retreat and I absolutely absolutely love this background. Um, I'll probably do it from an, for another tag this month. And I just added some buffalo check with the little fringe edge and I tucked a little label in there with my verses. And that was basically it for this tag. Okay, day 13 is talking about light. And I loved this little sunflower photo that I had taken um, a number of years ago. So I used that with the little sunflower ephemera piece, some of the numbers from the alpha tiles. Also have some book spine in there. So a bunch of these things are things that I'm using over and over again in my tags. And that's what I love is I just have a cart full of all these pieces of texture and stuff that I don't necessarily use in my Bible journaling all the time. I mean, I guess I do use it all the time, but um, <laughs> they are just very easy to put in. And uh, when I have little pieces like the edge of this that I didn't use, I can use that again in another tag because these are small little tags. So I can use all those extras. Now, this one was uh, super important to me as well. I used this specimen slide and some mica tiles, they're called. They are just little sheets of mica that you could use alcohol ink. This is my daughter a couple years ago, and so I just alcohol inked the mica tile. And you can crack the mica, t mica tiles too. And so I just made a little crack like it was broken glass in there. I'm not sure if you can tell. Um, and that was the focal point at this one I loved this paper as well and just using a little paper clip to hold my vellum um, verses with my Dymo label maker um, label the last two tags for this half is merciful which I wanted to use these little blanket and um, this was part of the clear stickers I propped it up on some foam tape and I wanted to use a bunch of fabric now this was the first time I actually fed fabric through my typewriter and it worked beautifully honestly I was really worried that it would jam up my typewriter but I feel like those vintage typewriters take a lot um and you know are 
you know, able to do a lot more. So if you're ever thinking about getting a newer typewriter or a vintage one, I love my vintage one. It is called um, Olivetti Studio, sorry, I'm looking at Studio 46. It is this pretty blue color and it just takes a lot. Um, so I'm not sure if you can feed um, fabric through your own typewriter, you'd have to try it out. Um, but mine, it worked okay. And then I did a little stitches down here as well. I love leaving all this fun little strings. I know that's just me. Um, so that was also a very simple page. The last one I have is for today, most high, um, Genesis 1420. I use this little crochet um, piece. I just, you know, place it on the way I wanted to and then um, use some Fabri-Tac glue and um, just put it down there. Now, this is also some fabric from um, the fabric pack. It is the same um, little uh, dictionary definitions that are part of that um, stamp set that they created as well and I thought this little pumpkin matched pretty well with that fabric so that's why I decided to do it I did stitch around the edges as well which you don't see in the reel um, just because it's hard to see that um, but that is it that is day 16 and then we'll have 17 18 19 20 and so on until we reach day 30 on this little um, accordion book. So I've really enjoyed working through this. I love creating the reels for you every day on Instagram. I hope you enjoyed them as well. Um, I love all my little fluffy stuff sticking out of this accordion book and I hope you have a great day. I will leave links down below for um, some of the products that I use and also Tiffany's YouTube and Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. I will have my affiliate links down below as well in case you want to grab something. Thank you so much and have a great day guys. Bye.